my name is Glenn Standish. And as you probably know, I'm the ambassador for Outcomes 3rd Edition. Now, let's give you some advice and tips on these amazing books. So, in the books, there are loads of reading exercises. And within the reading exercises, um, they are full of rich language. Okay, now it's all very well um, the students encountering this language, but if you don't record or consolidate the language, it's just going to go through one ear out of the other. Okay, so what we do here at International House Torin is we use something called word bag cards. So basically, you would put the words on the board. Okay, always good to put the part of speech, so like N for noun, V for verb, um, ADJ for adjective, ADV for adverb. Okay, and then you give these cards to the students and you allocate them one of the words from the board. And they basically write the name, the part of speech, the meaning, and the example sentence. Okay, so let's look at this in action right now. So here's a reading text that I found in Outcomes 3rd Edition. And it's great to get the students to highlight the language with a highlight pen. But in this case, the authors have gone one better, actually, and have already highlighted the juicy language uh, for the students. And when I mean juicy language, I mean sophisticated vocabulary and phrases at that level or a little bit higher level than the students. Now, let's have a look at one of the expressions here. We have in hot water, which is a fantastic idiom. OK, so basically um, we will get the students to record that expression on a word bag card. Let's have a look. So here's the completed word bag card with the word in hot water at the part of speech. In this case, it's an idiom. And of course, as you know, the meaning is to be in trouble. And it's very good to get the students to contextualize the word or the phrase and write it into a sentence. And it's even better to get them to uh, try to create their own sentence and not just copy it directly from the book. So in this case, the company has found itself in hot water over the prices. So there you go. There's a completed card. And what do you do with these cards? Well, you put them in a bag and the teacher brings the bag to every lesson. And uh, you can do great fillers with these bags, with these words. Uh, basically, you can play back to the board, Pictionary, Taboo, loads of games to constantly consolidate the vocab because it's all very well students is writing the new words in their course book or in their, sorry, in their notebooks. But, um, if, you know, if they don't actually consolidate the language over and over again, they're going to forget it. So that's my tip for you. Enjoy.